I meant what I said, Kay. I really do feel closer to you than ever before. Miguel. You're a wonderful person. And I really care about you. Thank you. That means a lot to me. I just can't believe how charity's turning on all of us. Especially you. It's too weird. I don't understand it, but... I'm glad you and I have each other to get through it. Me too. Hey, it's getting late. We should start heading home. Yeah. Thank God I didn't tell Miguel the truth about zombie charity. But the real charity is trapped in ice. Because now I really think I've got a chance of getting him to fall in love with me. I'm just going to have to take my chances with the zombie. She has gotten a little out of control. But I guess I, I'm just going to have to rein her back in. It's the worst that could happen. I know what you're up to. Uh-oh. Oh, you're right. It's checkout time. Look, Gwen, I want to thank you. For what? For tonight. It was nice. I, I never thought I'd be able to go out, you know, let alone get over what, what's happened with Teresa. Have you? Well, not totally. It still hurts. It didn't help seeing her at the youth center. Yes, I'm sorry. Yeah, me too. Look, I'm gonna head over to the mansion, see how my mother's doing. I'll come with you. I'll check on my mother, too. It's, it's hard to imagine the two of them living under the same roof. Oh, no, you're telling me. Where are they? Where are they? Oh, no, I thought I left him here. I just... Oh, God, I need that other prescription. I just... thought I left it here. I'm gonna be... Can you use Ivy? Oh, Rebecca. Pain getting to you, is it? Just give me my pills. Oh, now, now we wouldn't want you to take too many of these. Why don't you just let me worry about that? But what kind of friend would I be if I allowed you to over-medicate yourself? Just give them to me, Rebecca. No, 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 no. I'm only trying to help. You obviously don't know what's best for yourself right now. So help me, Rebecca. Oh, and then there's a the little problem about David. Oh, when I get my hands on you. See, your little plot to split up Sam and Grace is about to blow up in your face. Ah. Uh. Ivy, you are going down in flames. Oh, and it just wouldn't be nearly as much fun to watch if you were anesthetized. Now, I want you to feel every little bit of pain that's coming to you. I will sleep so much better knowing that you are in total agony. Teresa! There's nothing left for me, not even hope. And without it, I have no reason to live. No, Teresita. Giving yourself over Ethan is not the answer. I have to go find her. I've lost. And all my dreams for the future. There's nothing left for me. There's no reason to live.
I had it all. Everything that I ever dreamed of. My life was wonderful. It was perfect. Now, it's changed. God, I'm pregnant. With Julian Crane's baby. Look what your lies have done to both of our lives. Julian cost me everything. And I can't live like this. Not after all I've lost. There's nothing left for me to do. To go on like this. hell. You see, once John's DNA test is in, everyone is going to know that he is not David and Grace's son, and your little plot to destroy Sam and Grace will be exposed. Oh, don't count on it, Becky. You've got nothing on me, and when all is said and done, it will be you with egg on that bitchy face of yours. I know that you told Sam Bennett that you thought I was the killer in an attempt to make him suspicious of me. It was no attempt, Rebecca. You are the prime suspect, and I do mean prime. Oh, and you're not? You had far more reason to kill Julian than I did, no matter how hard you try to take the focus off yourself. I didn't kill Julian. <gasps> Ivy, you really are a hoot. <laughs> oh, do you really think people are going to buy that one? You know, if you are going to cop a plea, you're going to have to try to have just a little bit more conviction in your voice and try to put a more earnest look in those beady little eyes of yours. <laughs> if anybody ends up in front of a jury, it's going to be you, Rebecca. And you better pray it's 12 old, decrepit, nearsighted men you can bribe with sexual favors. <laughs> you don't stand a chance. You're looking at life in the state pen. <laughs> I know who you are. I remember. It's all coming back to me. What you've done to me. You, you're trying to destroy what I have with Miguel. Our love. You, you're trying to tear us apart. But I'm not gonna let you. I won't let you get away with this. Miguel, you know, if, if you want to talk, I, I am a good listener. I know. I was just thinking about Charity. The way she was acting tonight. So strange. And it only seems like it's getting worse. Yeah. She was kind of awful to you. I don't get that. And what happened to the sweet girl we used to know? Something else is going on. Something outside of charity. I can feel it. What do you mean? I'm not sure. But uh, here's charity acting all weird. And then, and then Whitney is totally acting crazy at the party. It's like people aren't acting like themselves. You know, and then there's all these couples who, who are having trouble and pain in their relationships. Like Luis and Sheridan, Ethan and Teresa, me and Charity. You know, I'm beginning to wonder if evil hasn't come back into harmony. No. It's not just my relationship with Miguel that you're after. You're evil. 
pure evil. You're out to destroy all of us, everyone in harmony. Destroy lives. I see it. All the pain and the sorrow, I see it. I see everything. That is really excellent, Charity. Kudos for catching on so quickly. The other poor fools are still scratching their heads trying to figure it out. You. Me? I know all about you. You're a witch! What, me? You're behind everything! And you, why are you alive? Jimmy will explain everything. But now's not the time. Don't you know what you've done? Have you any idea the hell you've unleashed? Uh, yes, well, actually, um, I'm on her side. As if you had any choice in the matter. You can't do this. You won't. I'll stop you. Goodness will prevail. And evil will be destroyed! Got you scared, haven't I, Becky? Me? Now why would I be scared when your little plot to destroy Sam and Grace is about to come crashing down around you? Well, I wouldn't pop the champagne just yet. Oh, I won't. But it's definitely on ice. You have no proof that I did anything and you know it. Whereas you are completely innocent. <laughs> oh. Motive, opportunity, and gun. That little trifecta is going to put you just where you belong. I did not kill Julian. You know, even if you do manage to wiggle out of the murder charge somehow, Rebecca, I've got plenty of other things on you. Other things? Oh, yes. Like lately, I've been wondering, how did my letter to Sam and proof of Ethan's paternity really end up in the tabloid office? Teresa. Yes, Teresa. But you know, when you think about it, Teresa didn't have anything to gain by that and actually everything to lose. Ethan. Whereas someone say, oh, I don't know, your daughter Gwen, she had everything to gain. <laughs> Ivy, where do you come up with this stuff? Well, one thing I can tell you for certain, Rebecca, Ethan would be very interested to know who took his life and the Crane name away from him. Oh, and I think Ethan would be very interested in knowing how the tabloid found out that Teresa was pregnant with Julian's child. And I don't think he would be very happy to know that his mother destroyed his relationship with the woman he planned to marry. You have no proof of that. What's going on here? given our love a chance but you didn't now look what's happened how can i live without anything you were my life and without you i had nothing to live for nothing at all
You think you're so good. You think love can conquer all. It will. It always does. Got a newsflash for you, kid. It's not gonna happen. All this power of love stuff, it's mumbo jumbo garbage. It's the truth. The power of love and goodness is on my side. <sighs> Do something. Freeze her again. Put her back in a block of ice. Not just yet. I'm gonna have a little fun with her first. So you're so certain you can bring me down? Not me. Goodness. Okay, goodness. Let's see what you got. So what's all the yelling in here? What's going on, mother? Nothing. We were we were talking. That's that's all. <laughs> <laughs> At the top of your lungs. I I suppose I I did cry out at one point. I uh, I didn't want to tell you this, Ethan, but I I've been in a great deal of pain lately, and I was trying to take one of my pain pills, and Rebecca wouldn't give it to me, and I I got angry. Well, Rebecca, why wouldn't you let her take a pill? Because she's taken too many. Dr. Russell is very concerned that she's over medicating. Mother, I didn't. I didn't know you were in so much pain. Why didn't you tell me? I didn't want to worry you, darling. I, I know you've had a lot on your mind with Teresa lying to you and her being pregnant by Julian. I, I just didn't want to be a burden. Mother, you're never a burden. Look, uh, I'm gonna go get us some tea. I'll be right back. Okay, what are you two really up to? Nothing. No, nothing. Please. But I am happy to see you here with Ethan. Oh, Gwen, this is the time to strike. Much as I hate to agree with your mother about anything, she's right. With a little push, you and Ethan could be at the altar. I don't want to hear this. What do you mean you don't want to hear this? What, whatever you two are up to, I want no part of it. I love Ethan and I, I want to be with him, but not like this. Well, what other way is there? <laughs> Thank you, Ethan. Sure. Teresa. Oh, she's not here. No, she... She's dead. She took her own life. Really? Oh, how sad for you, Pilbar. Ethan, could you pass the sugar, please? Sure, Mother. Didn't you hear me? My Teresa is dead. Well, it's hard not to hear you. <laughs> oh, Gwen, we should go to Lowell's this afternoon, check out the bridesmaid dresses. <gasps> oh! oh, you did know that Ethan and I were getting married, didn't you? Oh, and don't <laughs> even think about getting to church on Saturday for Teresa's funeral. We've already booked it for the wedding. <laughs> <laughs> Ethan! She's dead. My baby girl. The girl that you loved. It must mean something to you. Well, yes, of, of course it does, Pilar. Well, it's... It's tragic. But Teresa hurt me so much. You know, I, I trusted her, and what did I get in return? Nothing but lies. She lied to me over and over again. She betrayed my trust, betrayed our love. I, I, I warned her, and she just wouldn't listen. That's why Gwen and I are going to be married. Mm. Teresa slept with Julian. She married Julian. That's why I'm not Mrs. Gray. Oh, have a petite poor mother. Oh, I don't mind if I do. <laughs> <laughs> Teresa was a schemer and a liar, and she was no good for my son. She lied to me. Slept. With Julian. She was a scheme. She betrayed my trust. She's no good. Married Julian. No good for my son. I can't marry her. She lied to me. She was a scheme. She betrayed my She's trust. No good. 
no good for I my son. I can't son. marry her. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. Nobody cares if I live or die now. And my life doesn't matter. Look, Mother, I'm going to talk to Dr. Russell and see what can be done about your pain. I'm concerned about you. Oh, thank you, Ethan. You're such a good son. But I know you have your own problems to deal with now. I'm, I'm just glad Gwen is there for you. Where is she? What have you done to her? Answer me! Laura, what are you talking about? What have we done to whom? Teresa! What about her? She's... She's so depressed and so devastated that I think she's thinking of taking her own life. What? Oh, please. Suicide? That is so transparent. Transparent? It is nothing but cheap melodrama. Do not fall for it, Ethan. Please, give us a break. You shut your mouth, Rebecca. How dare you? Did she come here? No, why would she? I believe that she knows that you are the one that went to the tabloid, telling them that she was pregnant with Julian's child. That's absurd. Is it? Is it? You despise her. You and Rebecca, both of you. You've driven her to such despair that she believes that the only choice she has is to take her own life. Mother, well, that isn't true. You, you weren't responsible for the tabloid finding out that Teresa was pregnant, were you? Were you, Mother? Teresa? Teresa, what are you doing? Oh, I what, was, what are you doing up on the ledge? I was just, hey. uh, thanks. I was, um, uh, uh, thinking, I was looking out at the water and I, I dropped my scarf. And, you know, I'm looking for it, so. I don't see it. Oh, well, I guess the water took it away. You know, the currents were really strong tonight, so anything that falls in the water is just going to get swept out to sea in a hurry. So maybe you shouldn't hang out so close to the edge. You might lose your balance and fall in. <laughs> I'll be careful. How come you're out here so late anyway? Uh, I was... I was thinking. About Ethan? I just have to accept that it's over. Where's Charity? Did you guys get a chance to talk? <sighs> Things have gotten worse between us. No, I don't know why. I don't know. I mean, some things change charity. I wish I knew what it was so I could deal with it, but it's like some weird mystery. Uh, it's Charity, okay? Jimmy's so sorry. I know, I know. Jimmy wants to help Charity. <laughs> the angel girl told Jimmy that Charity and Timmy's loves are intertwined, connected. That's it. That's how Timmy can help Charity. Timmy can get the angel girl to help Timmy to get her. Are you mad? No. It's just Timmy. Timmy's in love. Timmy wants to help Charity. Use your head, lad. What do you think Zombie will do to us if you help Charity? Had enough? No. I will never stop fighting you. And just what do you think you're gonna fight me with? You're powerless. Mm, you can't stand. There's nothing you can do. You're wrong. The power of love is on my side. Love conquers all. Silence! Nothing is stronger 
wrapped in love, and I will use it to bring you down. Bravely spoken. I will call on love. True love to battle evil, and the power of love will win. Quick, do something. Read Frieza. Love conquers all. Miguel! 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 Come on, Teresa, answer. I don't know if she took her cell phone, Ethan. I'll try back in a couple of minutes. By then it might be too late. Oh, this is so pathetic. Nothing but manipulation. You are a wicked woman, Rebecca. What, because I speak the truth? Mother, you didn't answer my question. Did you drive Teresa to this? To what? We don't know that she's done anything to herself. She was so devastated that she said she had nothing to live for. Well, it's not my fault. I certainly hope not for your sake, Mother. And yours, Rebecca. Teresa is her own worst enemy. She did this to herself. I mean, nobody forced her to sleep with Julian, to marry him, to get pregnant. Everything that comes out of your vile mouths is a lie. You've had a hand in this. Both of you. All you care about is your own worthless selves. You've destroyed my baby's life. You've driven her to despair. And if... If she takes her life tonight, it will be on your heads. Looks like your scarf's gone. Why don't we uh, start heading home? Isn't that your fault? Aren't you going to answer it? Oh, my God. It's, it's Ivy. <laughs> Calling to rub more salt in my wound. You know, the cranes are the cruelest. Especially Ivy. She's hateful. Hey. It's gonna be all right, Teresa. You'll see. I'm sorry, Miguel, that you are going through this, too. I guess uh, love isn't what we thought it was. I lost Ethan, and we lost Sheridan, and now you, and... Charity, you're having trouble. Things change, Teresa. They can go back to the way they were, they can even get better. I always believed that true love could overcome anything. But now I know that's a fantasy. I hate to hear you talk like this, sis. I've been thinking about that conversation we had at the youth center when you told me that you'd given up on believing in love and, and fate. And I know you're hurting right now. But like I said, you never know what tomorrow's gonna bring. There is no tomorrow for me, Miguel. <sighs> of course there is. You are gonna find love again. I know this. Come home with Kay and me. Oh, I... I just want to be alone with myself just a little while longer. You know, you guys just go ahead and I won't be long. I don't really think you should be alone right now. I'm gonna be fine, really. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I love you. I love you and Mama Luis. We love you too. You always have your family, no matter what. So when you love like that, it's got to be the most painful thing. A person can be driven to do almost anything to keep the person they love. I feel the same way. And that's why I'm going to do whatever I have to to fight for charity. I love her so much, Kay. No matter how weird she's been acting lately. Miguel! Did you hear that? What? It's 
Charity. It sounded like she was calling me, like she was in trouble. Miguel! Miguel! Just standing there. Miguel! Do something. You've got to stop Charity Miguel! before it's too late. Shh. Miguel! Don't worry about Miguel! it. I have this under control. Miguel! I'm just biding my time, Miguel! letting Charity give herself hope. Miguel! Let her think that she can Miguel! save herself and this town. Miguel! It's just gonna make it all that much more painful when I rip it away from her. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious. Sonny <laughs> Charity's a horrible, a horrible. Miguel! Whatever. Sonny Charity's horrible. Sudden, I'm, I'm feeling really weak. Oh, could it be? Oh, could the power of love be stronger than? Oh, I'm, I'm just getting weaker. Help me, please help me. The power of love can help you if you will open your heart. I want that. I want to open my heart. No. What's wrong? Not even love can help you. Well, when you're right, you're right, huh? Love sure can't help me, and... Well, it can't help you either. I summon you, the powers of darkness. That's Tabby's line. I've been plagiarized. Again. I bet on her wrong side. There's no telling what she'll do to us. Just make nice, all right? Miguel, help me save me! That's it. Shh. There'll be no more calling to Miguel. He can't help you now. Or ever again. Nothing. Maybe it was a seagull or something. It sounded like Charity. <laughs> I was so sure I heard her voice. Miguel, how could it have been? I, I know, you're right. I guess it was just wishful thinking on my part. Tabby? What now? That water that just dropped is salty. Well, who cares? Timmy does. That water that just dropped is salt water. Charity's crying. Charity's crying from inside the ice. Well, she does have a lot to cry about. Charity knows that my reign has just begun. With 
her out of the way. I'm gonna unleash evil the likes of which this brig has never seen. Mm. Beware, people of harmony. There's no hope for any of you. By the time I'm done, you will all be destroyed. <laughs> Answer. Look, there's no, there's no time to lose, but we'll find her. But how? I don't know where she could be. Don't worry, Pilar. We'll find her. Let's go. You know, if Teresa does kill herself. It'll be one less problem that both of us have to deal with. Well, you and I finally agree on something, Ivy. If Teresa and her baby die, there will only be two Mrs. Cranes left. No reason to live. None. I'm lost. Everything that ever mattered to me. And a life without Ethan. I couldn't bear it. I just hope that God understands why I have to do this and forgives me.